Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Mark and I'm a student studying computer science and linguistics at New York University. I can type in an average speed of about 165 words per minute and my best is 181. While I'm not the number one most qualified person in the world, I do find that I'm pretty fast and my last two videos have done really well and a lot of people have asked a lot of questions. And amongst those questions were also recommendations on some really great typing sites. So that being said, today I want to discuss the typing sites that I use all the time and based on your recommendations, the one I now use a lot. In other words, I'm gonna be talking about typing practice websites that helped me get to 165 in the first place, as well as those including the ones that you guys have told me about that I'm relying on to get to 190 words per minute. We're gonna start off the video with some beginner websites, some websites that I think are fantastic if you're just getting into typing and touch typing. We're then gonna jump into websites that measure progress. I believe that measuring your progress over time, keeping track of metrics is super important for progress, whether it be typing, art, or just anything you're trying to improve with. And lastly, websites that we can use to push ourselves to get to the next level. But without further ado, I wanna jump into Kieber. I constantly call this Kibiar in my initial typing video, which I'll reference throughout this video. And I, I think it's actually called Kieber, not KeyBR, but I'll probably say it interchangeably throughout the video. What I love about Kieber is that it has a great intro text on what touch typing is and kind of what you should be doing. And it shows you how you should map your fingers, but its main thing is that it creates these fake words, as you can see on screen here, to help you improve your typing speed. And I might be looking a little bit disheveled in this video, that's okay. I have actually switched keyboards as of late, so if anyone's curious on the one you see on screen now, it is the Artec HW192. That being said, I'm actually just getting used to this and I'm also working on getting my right pinky engaged in typing. I previously only used like these three fingers. So I'm probably not gonna be hitting 150 or 160 tonight. But regardless, Keeper is great if you're getting into this for beginners. It doesn't track you if you go above 140 words per minute, but that's okay. It, it gets you to where you need to be. Now, Keeper does have excellent metrics. So technically this could go in the metrics portion of the video. I feel like it, it classifies as a beginner website more importantly. So. Uh, miss count Finden before. Oops. Uh, so 126.6. And if you go into profile, you get a bunch, a bunch of detailed statistics. So we are absolutely balling over here. But you get to, it's just wonderful. If you if you go on KeyBR, it's just an absolutely fantastic website and they adjust to what you need to improve upon. I've actually been using this a lot recently as I kind of remap my fingers. That being said, I got a lot of questions about should I be using more of my fingers? And the answer is immediately yes. I initially only used like two fingers on my right hand and three on my left. And I believe that one of the biggest things that got me from 140 to to 160 was including a third finger on my right hand and all four on my left. Well, I use my thumb for space, but you know. If you're new to this and you're looking to gain speed, I would highly recommend Keeper. Another great starting website, which I've personally never used, but on a quick glance, you can see just how amazing it is, is typing.com. A lot of people said, hey, check out typing.com. And it is built to like specifically teach students. As you can see on the small graphic on the page, it has all these great games and all these things to help you work on your typing. And it, it, it feels like it's geared more towards students who want to initially begin typing, who want to get into typing. Whereas Kieber is kind of a self-directed thing and very, I guess, plain looking relative to typing.com and all the games that it has. What I'm trying to say is it's very engineered for the education environment, but nonetheless, if you're able to sign up, I definitely would recommend it because it looks like they, they give you a lot of good information. Next up is 10fastfingers.com. I'm putting this in uh, the beginner or starting typing portion of the video because it's a typing site that I first found and it is pretty much the most basic way to get your typing speed. Now you can use this website in a variety of languages as you can see here. I actually can't believe they have Esperanto. <laughs> Conlang, okay. You just type for a minute and it gives you how many words you type in that minute. Most basic thing to go by. So giving it a shot, it just starts off as soon as you start typing. Don't know how well I'm gonna do here, but we'll give it a shot. Okay, so they just froze, I'm at man. I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay, I definitely, yeah, that was rough, dude. I don't know what, I don't know why the whole thing just froze, but uh, that sucks. You know, nope, that, that is really disappointing. Anyway, yeah, most basic way to get your words per minute. And we're actually gonna use 10 fast fingers to segue into the next part of this video, which is the best sites to use for storing metrics. I should have refreshed that, but uh, 10 fast fingers, if you go to your profile, you can actually see your metrics over time. And as I mentioned at the start of this video and something I'm very adamant about, wow, that bio needs updating. Tracking your progress will increase your output over time. Tracking your progress is super important. If you're learning any skill or trying to get better at pretty much anything. Oh, my average is at 158 now, that sucks. What I also wanna point out are 10 fast fingers typing companies 
competitions. The reason why I want to point these out is not because of their competition nature, but because you can go ahead and start a typing session, take one of these tests, and it will be the same exact test when you come back an hour or two hours later, assuming you don't run out of time. This way you can see how much have I improved while just practicing and warming up in the last 15, 20, 30 minutes. And lastly, there is the top 1000, which I believe is a pretty crucial uh, aspect of this website. It pretty much teaches you all of the top 1000 words over time. These were taken a while ago. I averaged around 126, 128. The hardcore mode, once you unlock it, is very cool because it uh, actually, if you make a typo on a word, it cuts you off. It says, oop, now you gotta start all over again. If you're, if you're willing to try your patience, I would definitely go ahead and give it a shot. And moving on, we have monkeytype.com. So many people recommended this and thank you for recommending this website. It's just, it's got a super sleek design. I just super simple layout. It's, it's really wonderful. And now you can modify a bunch of things. So this is a 30 second test. You can change it to a 60 second test, get what your worth per minute is. And looking at your profile, which I just made like a few days ago. Yeah, I created my account two days ago uh, because I was using it, not logged in for a while. And I realized I should probably make an account if I want to use it in a video. Probably what I use for my primary practice at this point, because it, it's just, it's nice to modify time. You can get quotes, you can type in custom text. It's really wonderful to modify. And again, it just looks, it looks great. I'll enlarge these. Cool, 156, okay. I'm sort of redeemed. At the end of each test, it's kind of cool. You get to see how consistent you were. Most importantly, you kind of get to see your average. So this yellow is your average over time. And this is kind of your raw speed over time. Now, what I love about it, tracking your raw speed and some other sites do this, sure. But in seeing your raw speed, you know what you're capable of. So in theory, I am capable of typing at 204 words per minute. I just need to practice on making that consistent. You can see where I made all these different errors. Gives you some wonderful, wonderful statistics. You can practice your missed words. It, it's really great. So definitely take your time, explore monkey type a little bit. If you've been using Kieber or 10 fast fingers or typing.com for a while, and you're looking for like something to dive deep into the mistakes you're making, something to really show you what's going on, definitely check out monkey type. Um, it's arguably the best one amongst all of these at this point. Anyway, moving on to the next website, hopefully we don't freeze this time, is typeracer.com. Now, you might be uh, asking why this is in the metric section, mostly because I need to segue into the next section, but also because of the metrics it provides after each race. There we go, third time's the charm. All right, enter typing race. God dang it. So I'm, I'm using Firefox. It's very memory dependent. I have OBS running. That's unfortunate. Let's just go through the metrics real quick. I was doing pretty well and then it kind of cut me off. So the main, the main thing that I wanted to point out for metrics and type racer are the mistakes that you make and the segments that you have over time. So monkey type again, does this more in depth, but it's just nice to see at the different segments that you work with. Uh, before we jump into the next section, which is the sites that can push us. I got this question a lot in my last video and the video before that. One of the things that really helped me improve my typing and something I continue to do when improving my typing is read two, three, four, or five words ahead if you can when you are typing. Essentially, what we're trying to do is we're trying to make our typing catch up to our reading speed. We don't want to read at our typing speed. So in reading ahead, you are forcing your fingers to catch up very oversimplified way of putting it, but that's the idea. You want your eyes to be on work by the, when you're finishing the word teachers. Over time, this kind of helps you type in words. You never want to type letter by letter. At least I don't think. I tried that for a while, but it doesn't really help. For me, when I speak, it's very visual in a sense. So I tend to type in words and I'd recommend doing the same. If you can think teachers and coordinate, you know, T-E-C-H-E-R-S with that word, it's much easier than thinking T-E-A-C-H-E-R-S. For me, at least, maybe not for you, but again, read ahead. Read faster than you can type and try to catch up to that reading speed, it is a sure way to go ahead and push yourself, to make yourself go faster. If you're getting something out of the video so far, I'd love to hear it in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. In my last two videos, a lot of people left their progress reports in the comments and have been updating them actually. So shout out to you guys. It's super cool to see your progress. And I think it's really great to have this like mini community in the comment section to do that type of thing. So um, jumping into our next two websites, actually, they're very similar to Type Racer, and it's kind of all centered around this competition aspect. First, we have Typer X com as you can see there's a big leaderboard here and very very similar to type racer it gives you passages and you type them out 
embarrassing. I promise you guys I can usually type faster than this. This is embarrassing. I guess it really didn't put me with people at my typing speed. I think that's probably just because it's very, there are very few people on right now, but that's kind of the idea. I am getting used to the new keyboard. Maybe I should have switched back for this video specifically. Oh, it was another excuse, right? The other website in this category is NitroType. Now, a lot of people left comments on the first and second videos of why didn't you talk about NitroType? And the reason is because it's just very similar to Typer X and Type Racer. It is um, a lot more aesthetic. As you can see up here, there's this dealership thing, there's different seasons, there's a garage. So it's much, much more gamified to use the term loosely. So if that's your kind of thing, definitely go for it. Next up is our last website of the evening. And this is where the entire section idea was derived from. I got a comment on my last typing video from someone named Farger. I apologize if I'm pronouncing this wrong. There's a survival mode where you can set your typing speed and if you drop below it, it automatically cuts you off. It doesn't give you tons of metrics like monkey type, but let's just go through a 30 second test real quick. Um, but again, on the left here, you can see it says 168, 165, 157, 127, 172, 139. So if I go ahead and set 120, which apparently for tonight will be a little dangerous, hit reset that look between and then story and then mother. Uh oh, it stopped me because I hit 113. So if I go ahead and reset it again, learn time, miss those, feed again, waveform case. And so in theory, I can type at 188, 177 words per minute, which is nice. Again, like the monkey type thing, like the type racer thing, it's nice to just know that I'm able to get to this level. As Marcus Aurelius would say, if it's humanly obtainable, you too can obtain it. I should have mentioned this earlier, but all of the websites I've been talking about are in the description down below. So definitely check them out. In terms of typing, the survival mode can keep you up and running. I haven't used it much. As you can see, I've only logged two scores. Nonetheless, it can be a great way to just kind of push yourself, see how long you can go at a certain speed. The fact that it cuts you off when you've, you know, gone below the speed threshold is really important because we can often get caught in the habit of the comfort zone. The comfort zone of 30 words per minute, 60 words per minute, 100 words per minute, 140 words per minute. For me, my comfort zone appears to be 150 words per minute. Tonight, it seems to be 110. It reminds you, hey, you're slowing down, speed back up again. Now, I know there are so many websites out there for typing. There are so many good ones, probably so many I don't even know about still, and I know of other ones that I didn't talk about in this video. The thing is, I don't want to talk about too many websites because I want to give you a few new fresh ideas. When we have too much choice, we might not be able to make any concrete choice at all. That being said, make a choice right now. In the comments down below or on a sticky note next to you, what is one website, maybe one from this video that you're gonna go ahead and use next time you practice typing? Along with what website you're gonna use and how you're gonna use it, let me know what your goal is in the description down below because I'd really love to hear it. Hey, Ketzel. So I wanna hear what, ah, hey, so, what? That being said, I'd love to hear what website you got out of this video. If there are other websites I haven't heard about, of course, drop them down below. If you enjoyed this one, I got some value. Please don't forget to subscribe. You can check out some other productivity videos I enjoy making here. And if there's anything you'd want to see from me, don't forget to drop that in the comments below as well. Without further ado, thanks yet again for watching. Don't forget to keep practicing your typing because what you cannot do now is simply what you cannot do yet. And of course, have a good one. And as always, don't forget to stay awesome.